everyone. Cooper and I'd like to welcome you to Monday morning here on the patio. It is, uh, let me see here, 802 on this October 5th as we start the first full week of October. Quite nice outside, 68 degrees, a little bit chilly. Today is cloudy. And uh, the weatherman tells us it uh, will warm up to about 89 degrees. But he also tells us that it, it feels like fall, and in the next couple of days, why well, we might even see some rain. What do you know? What do you know? So we uh, go around the uh, uh, countryside, go eight and a half miles up the road to, to Haslett, where you guess it, the weather is exactly the same. Yesterday was a big day for me. Pat allowed me to go out of the house and go to the grocery store. As you know, I've been cooped up for three weeks now, starting my fourth week as I recover. And I am getting my strength back. But Pat's, uh, Pat's uh, being quite conservative in my, uh, my freedom. It's almost like in jail. So at any rate, off to the grocery we went. And guess who had to drive a mobility scooter? Yes, me. <laughs> Let me tell you, karma's a bitch. Because I was always complaining about people and those darn things running people over and dodging, dodging them on ships and everywhere. Now I'm driving one. Go figure. But while we're at the grocery, look who I ran into. Yep. Caitlin and, uh, and Olivia and Chris and Mindy were there too, so that was kind of fun seeing them at the grocery. So we go down the uh, road to uh, San Antonio, home of the Alamo, 68 and cloudy. Littleton, Colorado, 45 cloudy, chilly there. We uh, go across the sea to London, see uh, Carlin's out of 64 and cloudy there. Always cold in London, as we all know. And down under the Mulu Lava, we're at 71 and clear. My friend Joe sent me this video of Mulu Lava. And Joe's a professional photographer, so you can see the video is quite well done. Well, good morning, Chuck. I thought I'd shoot a video for you, showing you near where we live. Um, around here, as I zoom to the right and pan to the right, it's Mulu Bar Beach that you talk about in your weather updates. I'll pan across. Starting to see some of the other beaches beyond the trees there. Currently standing up the top of Point Cartwright, which is a little headland at the top of the river mouth. There's a big water tower. Um, can't see it at the moment. There's actually a big lighthouse behind that water tower. And I turn to the right. That's the Pacific Ocean right there. Hello USA right across the water. As I keep zooming across, uh, sorry, panning across to the right. Um, that's Bedina Beach, which is just off where we live. And as I come around to the right, you've got some apartment buildings here on Point Cartwright. And I'll just come back around to where I started. And that's back at Malulaba Beach, just through the trees. You can just make out some of the high rise buildings. Have a great day. Take care. Sure, I'm with you. Isn't, uh, isn't that a nice area they live? Someday I'm going to go visit there. And uh, the rest of Australia, Steve in Melbourne, 77 and clear, and Trish Adelaide, 73 and clear. Uh, we want to, uh, well, I want to go to Ocean Isle Beach, North Carolina. That's where my friend Sharon Hewitt lives. Ocean Beach, 64 and moderate rain. Yes, it's still raining there, and it is flooded. You can see, whole island's gone underwater. So that uh, uh, they don't uh, flood easily. Sharon, be careful, because I did see where there are rescue operations going on in the area, so stay inside. I, uh, I've always been one for plugs and pail. And a Facebook friend of mine, Mike Sierra, was telling me yesterday about 
his uh, his, his uh, aviation airport. Cause what Mike has done, I think it's a great idea. He has gone out and he's finding old airports that are run down, almost abandoned, and he's trying to revitalize them. His business plan is to have a nice facility, flight training facility, and to attract uh, a flight training, other aviation interest. His first flagship facility is at uh, South Jersey Regional Airport. the river from Philadelphia, as you can see here on the map. His uh, business is called Dalespinner's Club, Dalespinner's Flying Club. And he has built this really nice facility south South Jersey Regional Airport. And uh, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd share it with everyone. Yesterday, uh, a lot of my aviation friends may have gotten an invite for me to his, to his uh, Facebook page. I think it's pretty interesting, and uh, I really do uh, wish him the best of luck. Uh, I've uh, put on an aviation chart here, so you can see where it's located on the section. So you can see it's conveniently located beneath the Class B airspace, and easy peasy to fly into and out. Well, it is a nice area. That all farm country I used to fly. Well, guys, we'd all fly over to fly over it on the uh, uh, standard instrument arrival in Philadelphia. So it's a, it's a nice area. So stay tuned as uh, I hope to uh, bring you more in the days to come. And that's pretty much the uh, roundup for today. So thank you for uh, viewing. I do hope everyone has a good day and good morning to you.